Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and I'd like to take a look at a couple nice features about AutoCAD Map 2012 and uh, some functionality that's already in Map that be proved very useful. Okay, what I'm going to look at is I've got the outline of Northern Ireland here and um, I also have another tile that has the outline of the whole of Ireland. But you can see that they are clearly different coordinate systems. This one's Irish grid and this one actually is latitude and longitude. Um, so if we want to actually get this data to transpose, we can um, look at assigning the coordinate system in AutoCAD Map 3D. So on my um, map setup, I'm actually going to assign the coordinate system for this. Um, I have a nice feed navigational coordinate system. Um, there's quite a few thousand coordinate systems in here, and I'm simply going to search for LL84. So I can see LL84, which is WGS84, latitude and longitude. I'm simply going to assign that to the file and we'll save and quit out. On my outline of Northern Ireland, I'm going to assign the coordinate system here. This is using the Irish National Grid, so I'm going to type in Ireland. And uh, we can see the Irish National Grid um, and we want to select the meters. Again, I'm going to assign this to the actual drawing and physically save it. The key uh, to this is to actually bring uh, the separate, the second drawing in the, um, the one that's LL84 or WGS84, is you use your task pane to actually attach it. So I'm simply going to attach this and um, I'm going to browse to my desktop where I've got it saved. I can see my Ireland coast and I'm going to hit add to map and I'm going to right click and go to my key view and go to zoom extents. And you can see that the co two coordinate systems, um, the LL84 actually has been transposed on top of the Irish grid. That's very important if you actually want to translate uh, coordinate systems. Again, you could maybe translate the likes of British grid, etc. in there. The second feature I'd like to take a look at in uh, AutoCAD Map is the ability to add in latitude and longitudes um, or graticules um, on the actual layout tab. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my model space and again I'm going to assign my coordinate system. So we're going to go to assign. I'm going to take this to Ireland. So in here I'm going to pop it out to Ireland and um, again we're on meters. Hit assign and that's it now assigned. If I go to my uh, viewport or my layout, um, what I'm going to do is actually set up my grid system so it's available on my map tab. Just give that a second to generate. So once that's generated in here, we can actually create our reference system. So I simply set create, select my viewport, and you can see what we can actually use. I can use my latitude and longitude. I can use military grid. Um, I probably wouldn't want to use that. Um, um, more common would be the current um, map coordinate system. Let's change it to lat and long. You can see it has the scale and suggested precision in here. So I'm going to say put more for degree. That's fine. I'll put it in. So it physically doesn't actually come in, so what we're going to have to do is change that um, precision of the degree. We'll make that 0.01 and we'll hit OK. And again, you can see that the latitude and longitude markers actually come in. So again, let's change that again. Let's make it the current map coordinate system, which is Irish grid. It's the 300 meters. I'm going to tweak that down to 200 and hit OK. Again, you'll get to see the Irish grid come in. The nice thing about this feature is as you zoom and pan, it actually adapts. So it's an adaptive grid. Again, I can create that again. We'll do it as latitude and longitude. We'll swap it out. We'll make the precision 0 0.01. And we'll hit OK. And again, you can get to see the physical latitude and longitude. The other nice feature about this is you can actually do um, coordinate tracking uh, physically within the software. So rather than me looking for the tool, I'm going to actually click on my search. I'm going to type in my coordinate and I'm going to find coordinate track. Um, this is a very nice way on AutoCAD to actually find commands where you can't physically see them. It'll bring in my V coordinate tracker in here. And you can see again, it's tra tracking my latitude and longitude, even though I've actually got it physically set up for Irish grid. Again, we can actually physically clone this below and we can probably pop this out to a different grid system. I'm going to change this and we're going to make this Ireland again. So I'm going to say Ireland, again, reference 1965, and hit OK. And you can see I've got my Eastings and Northings, 
and I actually have my latitude and longitude um, being tracked. So there's three nice features uh, that you can actually use in AutoCAD Map. Thanks for listening.